Hi guys, PR Charles, and this is part two to, uh, well, the second video to wearing my head wrap. I know you've seen me wear this hairstyle before, but um, I don't know, I don't think I did a video on it. I think I did a video where I did a bang and I wrapped it up in a ponytail, in, in a bun. Same basic thing, but now I have the wrap going around it. And I'm seeing one of my spots that I said, that I tried to forewarn you not to do in the last video. Anyway, this is the front profile. I'll step back and sideways. I'm moving around and you can hear my, I have on corduroys, you can hear my corduroys rubbing. So I'm just pointing that out so I don't want anybody to think, uh, is she doing what I think she's doing in the video? No, I'm not, it's my corduroys. Okay, and the front, front view. Okay, if you notice, this is on a diagonal. You can have, you can have the V hair like that. You can have it in the middle like that, or you can have it that way. It is all, it's your preference. You can actually stack your bun to the point where it sits up like that, but for me, as long as it's up and I have a bang, I'm happy. Um, the bang sometimes, like if you see my previous videos, they can be lopsided. You'll just have to, you know, fuss with it a little bit until it works for you. Those of you who, um, have, the hair is medium length, um, what you do is you still put a bun and, um, as high as you can stack it and for your bang, even if the bang can only just flip up and tuck under the edges, that's what you do and you pin it in place. All right, so let me show you how I did this. I'll deconstruct it. It's the same as before. I, I just parted an area for a bang. Um, I'm pulling this apart. When, I mean, when I was wearing this, it wasn't as cold as it was now, so one was good enough. If you notice, it's, it's sleeker and it's more narrow. When I put on the second piece of uh, cloth, it is... Um, thicker or wider. For those of you who haven't seen the first video to the hair wrap tutorial, um, the fabric that I have here is a silk jersey. It is, I said before, I have two pieces. One is 18 inches wide and no, 17 inches wide and 78 inches long. And it was folded in half. So this is 17, it was folded in half. The other strip that I have on my head right now um, is either 16 inches wide, 73 inches long. So one 16 inches wide, 73 inches long. The other one is 17 inches wide, 78 inches long. Roughly, it doesn't matter as long as you have between 16 to 18 inches wide and from 78 or to 73 to 78 inches, it, you play with it. Also, I was saying before about this material, you can throw it in the machine. When you pull it out, you have to iron it. It'll look nice and crisp and it'll lie down really flat and crisp. See how this is like bubbling up? That's because I've worn it over and over and over again and it's due to be washed and ironed. Before it was a basic stacked bun, however you can get your hair up because you're not gonna see the mechanics of it. Okay, I have on a hair tie. Like I said, if your hair is not um, long enough, as long as it's long enough for you to bend up like this, and it can tuck up underneath the wrap, you're good. Now, I made this video back to back, so I'm trying to avoid this part right here. I was wearing my hair parted down the sides and I mean parted right here so the part still is resistant to me and my manipulating the bang. Basic bun again with the hair tie. I just looped my hair up. It could be messy or as sleek as you want it. It's on you. The length of the bang is here. My goal is to tuck it under. That's the goal. Let me look in the mirror. Tuck it under. All this is going to get covered. Tuck it under. Okay, you're gonna see through this. See how you're seeing through that? You can pull more hair out, but it's not necessary. You just have to bend and manipulate it. So I have a bang. See how I'm seeing through here? I'm just gonna twist it over some. 
and I have to look in the mirror. See, like that? That's going to fluff that up. I'm going to wrap this around. Technically, you will just wrap it as far as it can go and tuck it in the hair tie. It's the hair tie. Just tuck it in there. And this has to lay. Oh. See, you can see through it a little. So I'm going to twist it some. And I'm going to bring this over some in order to thicken that up. When I put on the hair tie, it's going to cover it. The wrap is going to cover it. This looks pretty even somewhat. You can, you know, it's, it's, it depends on the length of your hair. If you want it to touch your eyebrows or be higher up. Now it's time to wrap. So we're going to get the wrap. It's folded. The folded part lay, you know, it lies down against your head. So, but this time I'm going to put it in a, a V formation instead of round. Okay, I got to look in the mirror. That's one. See how this is bulky? We're going to shift the hair over some. And then when I come up, I'm going to push it this way. Then I'm going to come up and go across. That's how I got my V. I'm going to play with it some because you don't want it too bulky. That's the V. And then I'm just going to wrap as usual around but then I'm going to come up this way see it's becoming more of a V now if I like this I just tuck it in the back and if I'm happy with one then that's good but I might not this might look like a muffin top on top with it spilling over so you put another layer if you want now this is a bulkier bang than the last one so i'm just going to twist and flatten this video is taking a lot longer than it's supposed to and flatten you can pull this down but see this is a lot lower than the other one all right i'm putting on the next one i mean when i wear this hairstyle some people say i look like i have on a little cap <laughs> here's the bill and the rest of it's a cap but hey you do what you do all right let's see if i can do this keep this video under 10 minutes This is already drooling already like last, the last video, just dripping. All right, same thing. Just follow what you had before. Up. There we go. And up this way. Okay, I'm going to carry it up a little higher. And you play with the bulkiness of it. What do you want me to tell you? I don't know. Each time you wrap it, it comes out different. This one is way bulky because of the front. So I'm just going to slide this up some. Don't want it resting on the same spot over and over again. And rest it up this way. And I'm going to tuck it. See, now this one has a lot more folds than what I showed you originally. So you play with it. That's all I can do is just play with it. All right. This looks more like a turban with the ripples. But here we go. Side view. See how this humps? You just have to pull this down and flatten it and tuck it in. Whichever way works. I liked it better when I showed you, but you don't see the gaps there. All right, step back, side view, back view. I have no idea what that looks like if you see the hair tie or not. Side. Front. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for the bang updo. Like I said, we just fiddle with that until we, this would be better if it's ironed and washed and it would lie down smooth. It won't be as bulky and as wrinkly, but if you like it that way, that's fine too. All right, guys, I love you guys. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please leave comments, feedback below, and subscribe. Thank you. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.